Hello and welcome to Celebrating Excellence. This show was created to answer questions about our Nobel laureates and to entice you to join us at the Nobel Laureate Festival. Our Nobel laureates are trailblazers who paved the way not only in their particular fields, but for future generations of St. Lucians. Here's a question for you. I think at a certain level you do have persons who have interacted with the ideas of Sir Arthur Lewis. I mean, I know of, you know, young budding intellectuals here who I know have actually delved into his work and are looking at it now within a 21st century context. Um, obviously the work Sir Arthur did was dealing with a, a very different world than what we're dealing with now. Um, I teach a course in Caribbean studies, for example, where we're looking at one of his most um, popular ideas um, industrialization by invitation. And you wonder about that in today's world where um, the, with the pervasiveness of the digital um, and I mean without the necessity for um, businesses or entities or, or whatever from foreign nations to come here and for that technological transfer to happen that he saw, um, which is no longer something that is as necessary with the digital world. Um, so you do have to look at it in an entirely new context and uh, contextualize it and then judge its, its value as well. As to how far persons are considering these ideas, I'm not sure, or whether they've let go of it altogether or whether some are augmenting it and so on. Um, the other thing you have is that even with Sir Arthur's idea of industrialization by invitation, you had what came about, um, which was the, the intellectual property rights business, which would uh, thwart the technological transfer that he saw because what would happen is that yes there would be technological transfer but local innovation would belong to those who have the intellectual property rights for these things and um, therefore it, it continues to perpetuate the relationship of dependency that industrialization by invitation sought to do away with. Um, so I mean his, his ideas are still and that's just one one aspect of Sir Arthur's work, I mean, he's, he was a federalist, for instance. I mean, he believed very much in the Federation of the West Indies. His book, The Agony of the Eight, was him trying to salvage um, the eight remaining members of the Federation after Jamaica and Trinidad left. Um, so, and these are things that we are looking at now, trying to see with the OECS, for instance, as a very strong entity, which, uh, which comprises of a lot of, if not all, well, perhaps a lot of the eight that, that, that he wrote about um, are seen now even as a stronger entity than CARICOM in some ways in terms of integration. And I think perhaps in that way, um, although I mean I've only read the agony of the eight in terms of his federal ideas, I do think that, that um, perhaps it has some lessons because he did talk about why um, it was very important on a number of fronts. I remember him talking about government, um, corruption and these things and with the advent of the CCJ um, with the advent of OECS and the movement between these things. I think perhaps maybe some of his ideas um, in, as a federalist may be germane to, to, um, to what we're looking at now, that the, the aspects of integration that are there now. As, as far as regular St. Lucians know about it, I, I don't know. And I'm not sure if they ought to know all at the same level, you know, of, because I think in any society you have different levels of knowing, especially when it comes to to intellectuals. I mean, you have what you call an intelligentsia in a society, which are a group of people who, who interact more directly with some of that. And then you find that their knowing gets disseminated in other ways. You don't, you might not have read Sartre, but you read somebody who read Sartre, who wrote something, maybe not even within um, economics, maybe within another, um, another area of, of, of intellectual inquiry. And you are able to interact with, with Sartre's ideas secondhand. Um, and of course, updated because this person is writing after him. So I think, in, in, in certain ways, it may be happening. The, the information might get disseminated in, word, in ways that are not as conspicuous as perhaps we like it to be, as in an actual identification of his ideas and with his ideas and so on. Was that your understanding about Sir Arthur's achievements? Join the conversation on our Facebook page, Nobel Laureate Festival St. Lucia. We hope to see you at the Nobel Laureate Festival and don't forget there's something for everyone and most of the events are free. See you tomorrow at 7.55pm on Choice for another question and another answer. Goodbye.